Hi, my name's Theo. Welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to be taking you step by step through setting up the most popular gallery plugin for WordPress. It's being used by over 1 million people. It's called Next Gen Gallery Plugin and it comes in both a free and premium versions. I'll be covering the free version in this tutorial because that is where most users are and should be all you need at the moment. Perhaps when you are more familiar with the free version, you may want to download the premium, but the free version by itself is still very versatile and powerful, and most users are very happy to use it. So let's dive right in and start discovering why you should be using this plugin on your website. First thing to do, so you can follow along with me, is to download the plugin, and to do that, just go to Plugins and Add New, then search for Next Gen gallery plugin and install then activate you'll then find the plugin here called gallery the sub menu is overview and this is just like your primary dashboard screen functionality it's a quick overview of all the things to do with the plugin the following tabs are where this plugin can be customized and where it gets exciting Sometimes it does get intricate, and if you like this, then great. If not, don't worry, just follow along with me. With my help, you'll find that it isn't complicated at all. The next tab is Add Gallery Images. And this is, of course, where you can add new images and galleries to use on your website. As you can see, the middle of the panel there is a large grey space and this is where you can drag and drop images to use in your gallery. Or to search for images, click on Add Files. Once the images are added, you give your gallery a name and you click on Start Upload. The plugin then uploads all of your images ready to be used. There is another way to upload images to the NextGen plugin. This is optional, of course, but I'll quickly show you how it works. Here, where it says import folder, the plugin scans your entire WordPress server for any images, for example, ones you have uploaded before using the default image uploader, and makes them available for you to import your gallery. Just a quick note, if you use this method, it's best to copy the images instead of leaving them in place, because if you ever deleted the images from your WordPress server, they may not be available later on in this plugin. OK, on to the next tab, which is Managing Galleries. This looks a bit like how the Add Post or Add Page tabs look. When you click on a gallery name, you're taken to that gallery's collection of images and a series of settings, such as the gallery's title, description, preview image, and below, you can edit the names of individual images, you can add tags to them, you can rotate them, view the metadata for them, and you can exclude any that you don't want to use. By the way, if you don't know what metadata is, then it is something I recommend you learn. It's too large to cover in this video, so have a look at the tutorial all about it on our website. You can also do bulk actions to your images. So for example, if you selected a few images, clicked on bulk actions, you have options to set a watermark, resize the images, import metadata, Rotate them clockwise or anti-clockwise and add tags. So if you were a photographer and wanted to sell your photos online, you could add a watermark to your images so no one else is able to use them. All these options are very useful and easy to do. Next is the Managing Albums tab. But first, what is an album and how is it different to a gallery? It's simple. An album is a collection of galleries. See, I told you it was simple. Creating one is simple too. Let's have a look. To add a new album, you add the title of the album here, click Add, then select it from the drop-down menu here where it says Select Album, and your album will be opened here. You can then drag galleries from the Select Gallery section here into your new album and click Update to save it. Easy. Do this a couple of times and it becomes a simple process. Your new album will now have all the galleries you put into it. The next sub-menu is Manage Tags, which is very simple. The tags you have created appear on the left-hand side here. Then in the main body of the page, you are able to either bulk rename tags, 
delete them or edit their slugs. Straightforward and very useful. Let's have a look at some settings for the Next Gen Gallery plugin. So click on Gallery Settings. Here you can see different views, formats or style of albums and the settings for each one. You have options such as number of columns, how many images per page. You can choose an effect to use to transition between images, the interval for each image and so on. There are lots of different options. Play around with these different styles and see which one you like and which one works best for your website and images. Underneath you have other options which has eight drop downs with various settings for configuring images, thumbnails, light box effects, watermarks, CSS styles and more. Again, explore these settings and see how they affect your galleries and images. The last tab, Reset Options, can be used to reset all settings to default. As you can see, even the free version of this plugin offers an impressive level of control and flexibility in how your galleries can be displayed. So now you have made a gallery, inserted the images you want to use, how do you actually display it on your website? You just insert a gallery in a post or on a page. There are two ways to get a gallery or album into a post or page. The first is using the shiny new green button that now appears in your post or page editor here. The second is using shortcode and you can find all the NextGen Gallery shortcodes over at nextgengallery.com NextGen Gallery shortcodes. I'm going to show you the easy and quick way of doing it. Let's click on the NextGen green button in a new post or page and you're presented with a choice of different styles of album to use, such as thumbnails, slideshow of images, an image browser, compact album. Underneath that, you choose what you would like to display. This is where you choose the gallery you previously created. Here you can customize some display settings, such as how many images you want to display per page and how many columns you want to use. And here you can sort your images and exclude any images you don't want to use. Make sure you save, add anything else you want to your post or page, and click Publish. You now have a working gallery on your website in just a few minutes. NextGen is the most popular gallery plugin on WordPress. It's so easy once you've done it. The free version is very flexible and has so many options. And once you're experienced with the plugin, you can do some great things very easily. If you have any questions, please comment and we will try our best to answer them for you. Or just say hi. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a quick like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to see all our step-by-step -step tutorials coming up. Learn how to leverage your website using WordPress, build loyal fans and much more. Our videos coming up next show you why you need to be using WordPress widgets on your website and our top 7 plugins of 2015. Thank you and see you in the next video.